Well, hello, Scorpios. Welcome to Send the Moon Goddess channel. We're here today to do your reading for January the 31st through February the 6th, 2022. All right, we're going to do Send and the Moon Goddess. Well, it's actually called Sin One Spread, which is a spread that I created. And what we're going to do here is five cards. The fifth card is the advice card, please, Spirit. And then we read them and then clarify them, okay? So we do them almost ooh, the same. All right, Scorpios. Now, before we could go on, I'd like to ask you, have you subscribed to Send the Moon Goddess channel? Well, if you haven't, why haven't you? You really will want to because starting in February, we're going to have monthly drawings. We also going to in the future going to have weekly drawings. And also we're going to have guest readers and we're going to have a whole lot of different little things here at um, Send the Moon Goddess channel. So you want to stay in the know. So hit that button over there to the right, Scorpios. On the bottom is something you don't know is coming. Mm. Where we are now, we're being patient with strength, mind you. Okay, what we need to know is that our wish is coming true. Wow, Scorpio. <gasps> Action needed. Oh, we need to start planning. All right, Scorpios. I love this so far. The future. Ah, pack your bags. Mm. Some of you may be going away for college soon, maybe. Or applying. Or... I, I see college in a packed bag. Okay. All right. Now advice. Ugh. Now, we can read these two ways, but we're not going to read them quite yet. Because this is love and this is heartbreak. So, either we're get being healed, or we're getting heartbreak, or you are giving someone a heartbreak. Ooh, Scorpio. So let's put that to the side. Of course, that will be last, but our first card is where we are now, and and this is, we're, we're having patience, patience, spirit, mm. yeah, yeah, you, you're being patient, and you're waiting for, for communications from someone, it could be from a Capricorn, but it's someone that spirit thinks you have a toxic relationship with. Okay. Or it could be someone that you just want to have sex with. Bottom line, boom, bow. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. I mean, you are the Scorpio, right? So, yeah, it could be that. So we're talking about Leo, uh, Sagittarius, and Capricorn's energy. All right, so the Nine of Cups. Mm. Ooh, someone is in love with a beautiful woman. Very, oh, sorry, Scorpio. Very seductive. Uh, very demanding. Uh, very spiritual. Very down to earth. Oh, oh, Scorpios. Anything else for what we need to know? Mm. Yeah, there might be a change in order here. Um, I see travel, so they might not look close to you. Yeah, it's a change here. 
something about balance definitely. You need to balance yourself. But it might be them too. Okay, it might be the person you're in love with, Scorpio. But there is a change coming when it comes to you two. Okay? Because it's saying you two, too, need balance. And then here's another two. So you guys are going to have choices. You Scorpios. Two of Wands for action needed. Mm. Yeah, the divine is going to help you um, when it comes to love. So there is, see, they're telling you everything is going to be okay, Scorpio. But they, they do want you to go forward. It's the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. So I'm going to uh, clarify the world, please. Hear it, the world. What are we ending? Oh, you're starting to daydream a little too much. Um, so they want you to stop that. And there's some confliction somewhere. Maybe between you and your lover, maybe? Yeah, some confliction. Something that needs to be said, I'm hearing. The divine is going to help you. Did you see the way that guard came out? His card came out like this and turned over itself. So the divine is going to help you get balance. Yeah, the divine is going to help you get balance. Because see, it's saying you, you need balance. And the divine is going to help you to balance everything out. And help you with this confliction. Five of Wands, I don't... Yeah, your person... Could be a Virgo, maybe. But you and your person is is not seeing eye to eye right now. And the divine is coming in. And it could be somebody from your past. But they want they still telling you to go forward. Okay, in our future. Yeah, someone new's coming. And this person from the past, you're gonna you're gonna have communications with. They want you to um, to be um, upfront. Yeah. But I'm hearing that you really see yourself with this person, and that you see them as being helping you having a a stable home. They may not live close to you and they have you worried right now. Yeah. They have you worried right now. Alright. The Knight of Cups. Let's find out. Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. What's going on, Scorpios? Okay. You need faith. they saying you're, you, you don't have faith. Now, you are offering this love, and they might turn it down. And you might go in your head, and then they might change their mind because I see celebration. And I see love. Um, I see nurturing. There's going to be celebration, okay? So... There might have been heartbreak at one time. Three of swords. Yeah, but it's healing now. Nothing but healing. Yeah, it seems like somebody from your past is coming back, Scorpio. And the person that's coming back from your past hurt you. And now they're coming back and, and, and they are helping to heal you. All right? Now, there, there is going to be, almost everybody got this. Almost all the signs have the will of fortune, which is a good thing, you know? 
So you're going to have to let go of some things, okay? I hear burdens. See, you got two tens here. So it might even be that you need to let go of the spirit of someone, or you just might let, need to let go of family burdens, okay? And let your passion return. You're going to get communication from someone you, you love, okay? Someone you love. But don't worry, Scorpio. You're going to get abundance of love. Anything else? See? It's going to be a love offer. It could, it could be somebody from your past. It keeps saying that. But we are in um, Mercury retrograde. So that can be that too. Pray and meditate. You know, when we pray and meditate and manifest, we get what we want. Stop overthinking it. This love, don't worry about it. That's what I'm hearing. Don't even worry about it, Scorpios. See, you thinking you, you, you're not going to get what you, you want out of this love if you go back to this person. But they saying it's up to you. But they also saying that you're going to get what you deserve. You're going to get love. So it's up to you. Because it is going to be somebody from your past. It's up to you. The choice is yours. If you want to choose love. That's what I got. And you keep worrying about if you're going to get what you deserve. Even at work, you're starting to think you might not get what you deserve because you work so hard. But you are Scorpios. You're going to get what you deserve. You've been working so hard on self, on your jobs, and on love. And it's all going to pay out. You have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. So you're going to get love and money. Okay. Communication. Yeah, they want you to walk away from something that don't serve you. Because they, they want you to be ready for this lifetime love that's coming. And they want you to have an open mind. And to be ready. See, this is... Oh my God. It's been so much love. That's all I've been talking about. It's love. Now this person can be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or, or Pisces. Also could be a s strong Scorpio. This is going to be a new start for you, Scorpio, and love. Also could be a Virgo. But it's a lot of freaking passion here. And you're going to have to travel to get to them. Yes. Yes. Some of you are going to get new love. But a lot of you are going to rekindle with your, old, with your old love. Okay. But there's a lot of passion there. It's going to work out. Now they want you to set your boundaries. Especially the ones who's, who's going back to that. I, I don't want to say ex because they're not saying this person is your ex. They keep saying it's, it's a person that you, you was with before. That's all they keep saying. So the, the, this is the thing. You need to set your boundaries. Okay. So if you set your boundaries, 
they the spirit send everything on work out. And again, they saying you have choices, but this love will heal you. It'll help heal you. All right, Scorpios. Well, that's what I have for you. And you know I can't let you go without asking you to uh, like and share this video. And if you haven't already, hit that button over there to the right and subscribe to Send the Moon Goddess channel. Scorpios, I am Send the Moon Goddess. And I'm out.